Hey, what's up guys? My name is Steven Mayu, and in this video series, I walk you through the React challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. So uh, in the next few videos, we're going to tackle the second React challenge, Build a Camper Leaderboard. Here it is at the FreeCodeCamp uh, website. I'm going to blow up some of the requirements so that we can uh, take a look at it. Uh, all right, here we go. Okay, so basically we have to build a application that is functionally similar to this. And if you go to it, this is the example that Free Code Camp gives us. Um, we have the top 100 campers, um, and uh, this is from their brownie points. So um, we can see their points in the last uh, 30 days, and these are the top 100 campers who have earned the most points in the last 30 days and if we click on this link here we get a new list uh, the campers who have uh, earned the most points of all time and uh, you can uh, click to uh, toggle between the views right there and uh, it gives you the camper name their points for the last 30 days and of all time so pretty interesting project uh, let's go over a couple of the user stories so uh, first user story, I can see a table of the free code camp campers who have earned the most brownie points in the past 30 days. Okay, and we can do that. And um, I can see how many brownie points they have earned in the past 30 days and how many they have earned total. And so we can see that too. So here is the uh, points they have earned in the last 30 days and the points they have earned total. All right, and finally, I can toggle between sorting the list by how many brownie points they have earned in the past 30 days and by how many brownie points they have earned total. All right, now this user story, this last one right there, that's a little confusing because the way I interpret it is um, you, you get like one list of campers and you get the list of uh, top 100 campers in the last 30 days. And according to this last user story, I uh, interpret that sorting, uh, you can sort uh, the campers uh, by their points in the last 30 days and their points uh, like total. But looking at this, uh, is not exactly the case. Basically, in the example application, uh, they are loading the top 100 campers for the last 30 days and the top 100 campers of all time. And uh, there's two API endpoints. If you go to that, you can um, see the JSON data that you get to, the, uh, to, get to that application. Um, in the user stories, it makes it seem like um, you're only importing this, this uh, one list right here. Um, but actually in the example, it looks like, uh, yeah, you get the two lists. Uh, so here we're just viewing the top uh, uh, 100 campers in the last 30 days. And then by clicking this one, we get a new list, the top 100 campers of all time. And uh, I, I just, you know, found this last user story a little bit confusing because I interpret that a little bit differently um, than, than what I see right here. So, so anyway, we're going to do exactly what the example um, has here on the uh, free code camp uh, code pen. Um, so we're just going to display uh, all the users uh, top 100 in the 30 days and top 100 uh, of all time. And no matter what list we'll display, uh, we'll display the username, their points in the last 30 days, and their points of all time. So this is what uh, Code Camp, uh, Free Code Camp, designed for us. It looks really nice. There's some styling, and um, got some user images and uh, all that sort of good stuff right there. Um, the example that we're going to build, um, it has less styling. There's no, uh, you know, cool color schemes or anything like that. Uh, but it essentially does uh, the same thing. Uh, I'll refresh and we get a little spinner there to show us that the data is loading. I'll show you how to do that. And um, and also, um, by default, it, it shows us the recent campers, uh, the top 100. Uh, in the last 30 days. And by clicking this button, uh, you get the top 100 campers of all time. So functionally similar uh, to this leaderboard. But I'm going to make an argument and say that my example is slightly better. Uh, and not to say that the, that the, um, 
the, the volunteers at Free Code Camp that they made a bad application. This this right here, it's a great application. But if you notice mine, if you toggle between uh, the buttons right here, you get the change like instantaneously, like immediately. Uh, but if you go to the code pin example, and if you do the same thing, if you toggle between, you notice that we had like a like a one second delay or like maybe 500 milliseconds delay to display the updated information. And you don't necessarily get that with uh, mine. Um, and I'm gonna show you what's happening uh, later on in the series, how we can make this um, data load up faster. Okay, so um, I'm really excited about this project. We're not going to use the code pen um, uh, to to create this project, we did in the last uh, in the last video. Uh, I did the first uh, project uh, in, in React, which was the uh, which was it which was the Markdown Previewer, um, and that was a fairly you know simple straightforward um, application and so CodePen was okay. Uh, for this application though, it, it, this is uh, I mean it's relatively easy but um, I mean there's a lot of moving parts happening and um, I don't want to build that in CodePen. Um, it's going to look very very messy and also in the real world um, uh, maybe people build React applications not in CodePen but in their you know, text editor so I'm going to show you how to do that. There's a lot of setup involved uh, but don't worry uh, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Okay I will see you in the next video. Bye bye for now. Bye. Boop.